What's up, Radio Disney? How's it going? Let's go. <laughs> On a live stream right now. Hey, hey, hey. Today we got a good one. We got a good one. Montana Tucker is in the building. I know, it's going to be so much fun. Montana Tucker. Boom, da, boom. That's how I feel. I don't know. Good morning. Good afternoon. Wherever you are. How's it going? Good to see all you. All y'all. Could have said that. Ellie, what's up? Juan, what's up? Tegan, what's up? Believer Forever, 1994. What's up? Justin Bieber's gang. Let's go. Melanie, what's up? Belle, how's it going? What's up, Radio Disney? How's it going, guys? Yes, we're having so much fun uh, on, this t on this Monday. I mean, I have uh, a little lunch right here because this is called At the Lunch Table with your boy Cam Dog. <laughs> is that Cam from Radio Disney? That is Cam from Radio Disney. Thanks so much. Um, I got a couple of lunch things today. I got a bagel. I'm so, I'm so plain when it comes to lunch. I said this last time, like home cooked meals, underrated, but processed food. <laughs> I hate saying it like that, but a bagel and I got some Ritz crackers. How's it going? <laughs> today we have Montana Tucker in the house and, uh, she is going to talk about all of, uh, talk, oh, I can't even speak today. She's going to talk all about her new song. Ola, I'm excited about that. He grew up so much. Oh my gosh. Did I grow up? Did I grow up? Hello, Cam. I'm from Tampa, Florida. Woo! Shout out to Tampa, Florida. Let's go. Okay, so today, Montana Tucker's on. For those that are joining, hey, 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 I'm about to request her right now. Let's get it. All right, let's see. Turn the volume up. Volume should be up. We're connecting. Hey! What's up? How's it going? Great, thanks. How are you? I'm good. How are you? My name's Cameron. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Montana. Hey, what's up, Montana? <laughs> Hannah Montana, what's good? No, not Hannah Montana. <laughs> I'm <kidding. laughs> How are you? Where are you in the world? I am currently in San Francisco. Oh, awesome. I'm in Florida right now. I live in okay. Los Angeles, but Same. I've been in Florida quarantined for about five Same. weeks now. I feel it. I feel it. I'm I'm on the same boat as you. That's cool. How, <laughs> how was your Monday today? Oh, not Monday. How was your Friday? <laughs> I feel like all the days are the same. Yeah, now, it feels so like I it feels like a Monday. <laughs> um, today's a super exciting day because my song just came out. My song are you Ola, kidding? So I'm are you so kidding? Excited. The song's called Ola. It's called Ola. Yes. Ola. Got to say yes. it like that. Ola. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, wait. I'm really, really excited. It's my the first song I've put out in like a really long time. Yeah. And I signed with Pitbull and his record label, Mr. 305 Records. That's incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm, I'm super excited to for everyone to hear it. And the response has been really good so far. Have you heard it? Yes, I did. I heard yeah. it. Do you like it? Oh, it's fire. Fire. <laughs> thank you thank you yeah no it's really good so congrats on that and congrats on signing with him that's awesome thank you so much you were, i saw I, that you're eating what are you eating over there i have a bagel and i have uh some ritz crackers because that sounds amazing i haven't had a bagel in a long time that sounds great. yeah it's it's i'm awesome. eating do you like acai oh you yeah i'm eating an acai bowl did you make it i did wow <laughs> I did. That's yeah, a talent in itself. I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you? So did you go to public school growing up? I actually went to private school. I grew up in Boca Raton, Florida. I grew up in private school. I actually cool. went to um, the same school as Ariana Grande. Went to um, Pinecrest in in Florida in North Broward. That's um, sick. So yeah, Boca is like a, it's not like a small town, definitely not a small town at all. But I always, a lot of people don't know Boca, so I'll just say Miami because it's somewhat close to Miami. Sure. But it was awesome growing up down here. That's but cool. I love living in Los Angeles now. But like eating, eating school lunches at school. Do you remember, do you remember doing that? I, mean, I do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did you, were you ever that person to like trade lunches with people? Because that was me 24-7. <laughs> um, honestly, my mom made me have, like, a super, super healthy lunch. So no one really wanted to train lunches with me. But uh, I also was in, in uh, high school even still, middle school and high school. I was really, yeah. really bullied in school. So I would actually eat lunch in, in the bathroom stall. And I would actually have my mom come drive. And huh. I would sit in her car and eat lunch with her because people were really mean. 
Oh no! <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> that was my lunch experience. But, but look at you now. You're fire. You got a brand new song called Ola yeah. coming out. Mr. 305 signed with you. <laughs> Mr. 305. Yes, it's so cool because I'm from Florida, like I said, as well. So it's really awesome to be signed to Mr. 305 and to be working with yeah. him and, and his team. So I'm excited. What a perfect collaboration, I think. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I, and, I think and I all read it music... somewhere online. Sorry, sorry what I, I think. I, no, no, I, I think I read it online somewhere that you did you open up for Pitbull? I did was I? when I was when I was a lot younger. And so it's okay. kind of crazy like full circle how it happened. Yeah. But for you know a few years I've been a lot of people know me from my dance videos and my dance videos kinda took off in a really awesome way that I'm super thankful for. But yeah. I, I've always been an artist and I've just like haven't had the right music and now finally like signing with um, Pitbull and his partner Robert Fernandez I I feel like the producers and writers that I've been working with it's like everything just makes sense now the music that I'm doing I feel like is really true to me and who yeah. I am and what I want to portray to everyone so it's just music that makes you want to dance and that's what hey. I hope everyone gets from it. hearing my hearing Ola and my music and I hope that it makes you makes you want to dance 100% <laughs> I mean I've noticed I've noticed on your social media that collaboration is like a big thing for you Yes. Um, was collaboration and creating like this music, was that was that a big part as well? Oh, absolutely. I think whether it's, you know, dancing, writing, choreographing, singing, I think I'm always collabing with people. And I think that's sure. the be like, that's where I do my best work. I think sure. everyone has different ideas and different views on things. And so when you get everyone into a room and you're kind of just all putting your creative energy into one thing, it's like, I feel like you get something magical versus just you by yourself doing it. Yeah. So quickly tell, I tell love us, um, you you started off as a, a full time dancer. Is that was that what's going on? Or are you a yes. little bit of modeling, a little bit of dance? Tell me about that. Yeah. Yeah. So I started off modeling and acting in Florida when I was like eight years old. Um, my mom didn't want me getting into the entertainment industry, and finally, after a lot of begging and a lot of people begging her, she <laughs> finally let me. And um, I took a workshop from Darren Henson. I don't know if you remember Darren's dance crew. This is like a million years yeah, ago to learn how to dance like Britney Spears or yep. and so I loved them of course and so I went to one of the Darren's workshops and after the workshop he went up to my mom and was like you need to move her to LA or New York she'd be working all the time and at the time like my family we couldn't just get up and move right. so my mom opened a dance company in Florida and um and she opened this awesome dance company and then I started opening up for different artists and that's actually our dance group opened for Pitbull first. Nice. And um and then I opened for Pitbull and then yeah, from so from being a dancer I just I loved being on stage and love performing and and still to this day like performing is my favorite thing. I think that's why I love creating these like social media dance videos because I yeah. feel like they're mini music videos and it's my my own little way of performing. True. So uh, yes, and then people knew me as a dancer, knew I was becoming an artist and started booking me for different shows, got booked for, to open for Pitbull. And uh, yeah, and then I went on to uh, a tour in China for, was it, um, this was like three, two years ago, three years ago. And, um, and then after that, I was like, if I, I was still living in Florida at the time. And I was like, if I want to do this full time, I got to move to LA. Yeah. And I moved to LA and then the Let's rest go. is kind of history. The rest is wow. history. I start, I wasn't in social media at all yet. Um, I'm still kind of trying to figure it out, like the traditional route. Yeah. And yeah. then Lele Pons actually saw a video of me in dance class. And it, like, it wasn't like the dance class videos that, are out right now. Yeah, it, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was not a good quality video, but uh, <laughs> she um she asked me to be in one of her YouTube videos. Um and then I I I did one of her YouTube videos, did two more, and then finally I we like taught a dance I taught a dance to her. We put it up online and then and then that's kinda how I got involved in social media. Oh, I just I loved love creating Lay -Lay and yeah <laughs> just crazy i love it i love it yeah. always even though i'm now i'm focusing on music like social media is always gonna be a huge part of what i do dancing is always oh, gonna be sure. a huge part of what i do it's never gonna stop but um I, i'm i'm adding music so people really hear people really hear that side of me was there was there an artist that you looked up to pretty much throughout your career that you were like i want to be like this person 100 oh, 100 anyone that follows me and knows knows i'm obsessed with j-lo Obsessed. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> oh, my God. Good. Like, literally obsessed with her. Beyonce, I'm obsessed with J-Lo and Beyonce. J-Lo and Beyonce. You know what? I can't forget so about funny. Beyonce. Is your fans compare you to them? Or Yeah, literally. And <laughs> I see it 100%. Like, like when you did a... Um, that is so oh, nice. Thank you. No, no, for sure. You did a, um, a thing, not with J-Lo, but you were pretending to be like J-Lo. 
I did do something with Jayla, and I did pretend to be her. I did all Both. of them. Okay, cool. So I did a whole tribute video to her where right. I recreated a bunch of her videos, and I got, like, her original. I got Darren Henson, actually, the, the choreographer, to teach us the original dance and music video, and he was in it. And I recreated, the, like, to a T. Like, had my hair like her, had everything like her. So and cool. uh, she saw the video, actually, and liked it. And then I got to actually go to Vegas for her um, – the end of her Vegas residency, and I got to do a video with her also. So that was really cool. That's incredible. And you, you were up there on stage, right? What, was yes, that... I got to, I got to um, be on stage with her actual dancers from the show and then meet her afterwards. And then since then, I've actually been around her. Like, it's still so weird to me. I can't even right. like, believe I know. it because I feel like she's like not a real person. But um, <laughs> now I've been around her and like everybody a bunch now. So since that moment. I mean, so what, it's, is, what it's is really dream? Cool. And I think that's that's also a full circle moment for your life too. You're like, I, I looked at this person my entire life. And now I'm with them, dancing with their dancers. It's so, <laughs> it's so bizarre. I still doesn't, like, every time I can see her, I'm like, Oh my God, Montana, like, contain yourself. That but, was probably, that's probably uh, an interesting moment of being on stage and feeling like what it's like to be that person that you've always wanted to be. And like, that's- Seriously, that's something about being awesome. on stage, I feel like I'm, I turn into a different person almost. Like, I'm definitely very <laughs> personable and have a lot of energy, but sure. I feel like when I am on stage, it's like this, I don't know, this other side of me comes out. <laughs> yeah. And now, so your brand new song, Hola, Hola. I don't know how to say hola, it. Hola, hola. Yes. Hola, yes. Um, <laughs> just, just dropped today, and you, you, I've heard that there's going to be a TikTok challenge, or maybe you've already posted it. There is a TikTok challenge. Yes, I just posted it like an hour ago or so. Okay, cool. On my Instagram. So I posted a whole behind the dance um, episode that I, I do an Instagram se series, and of course, this one was the most special one because it's my song. Uh, <laughs> of course, yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I break down the dance like fully, and I heard that I might be able to teach you. And yeah. You're a little bit of a dancer. Is that true? <laughs> I did. I grew up as a dancer. Um, yeah, that's my my entire family. My uh, I'm actually here in my hometown where uh, where everything was created. So my family owns a dance studio in San Francisco. Oh no so, way! What's it called? It's called Studio S Broadway. And cool. um, it's been around for, uh, this is our 40th year. So our family has been involved in this like crazy. But um, I, have, I haven't personally danced in a long time. <laughs> but you, I, if you could, could you do TikTok dances? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And I'm ready to learn this. Um, and I think everybody at home that's watching, they're like, I want to learn it too. So <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, so cool. the song is going to be available on TikTok like in a few hours later tonight. So this is kind of like a little that's perfect. Sneak, sneak preview so you guys can learn the dance. And then once it's available on TikTok, then you guys can use yes. the sound. Use the sound, Ola, by Montana Tucker on TikTok. And tag me because I'm going to be posting all my favorites. Or actually, Sick. yeah, mostly all of them. So make sure do you like, guys do it and, and learn it. So should we go? Should we start? Yeah, let's do it. Here, let me move this table. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Let's, you have, you have yeah. a space there? I do. I'm going to raise this up. Oh, my bit. gosh. Everyone at home right now, put your phone down. Keep it on. But put it on. <laughs> put it down. Set it aside. And learn this with us. I'm down. I have Boom. a song right here, so... I, there might be a delay. I don't know. It's okay. We'll, we'll There's cut. a little bit of a delay, yeah, because I've done a lot of Instagram lives. There will be a little bit of a delay, so just watch one of us when we do it with the music. Yeah, we'll pull through. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. So, the beginning of the song, it says, um, hola, hola, I really like to get to know ya, know ya. So, <laughs> okay. you go. You're going to wave with your right hand. Okay. And you, you can't really, I'm just going to teach you the upper half because you can't really see my feet. So it's okay. Sure. I'm just going to teach you the upper, upper half of it. Got so it. So it goes, wave with your right hand and then pull. Oh, look at you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I moved my arm. Wave, okay. wave with your left hand and then pull. Cool. So it goes one and two, three and four. Yeah. And then it's going to go five, six, seven, eight, of course. So you're gonna go to your left, right, left. Okay, we're getting, we're getting, I don't have the hips, but I can do it. I'm sorry, it's only twice. It's just left, right. Okay, twice, okay. boom, boom. Boom, yep, and then I'm gonna teach a little bit more and then we're gonna go from the top. Cool. And then it goes, so that's on five, six, and then I'm gonna go seven with your right hand and down up, yep. Cool. So from the top, from the top. Okay. Five, six, 
seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight and. How do you feel? I think pretty good. How do you guys feel down there? Comment down below. <laughs> yeah, let us know if you're up doing it with us. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Let's go. So I'm gonna move on a little bit. Okay. He's obviously a professional dancer and has it. <laughs> but if we're going too fast, if we're going too fast for you guys, you can go on my Instagram and go to my last video that I just posted. I break it down very, very, very slow. Yes, let's so, go. So after seven and eight and, then it says, no, yeah, no, yeah. And so you're going to take your right hand and you're going to go, this is like a little TikTok move. No, I know. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. It's one of those, it's one of those things, but I'm glad that you're mixing both like dance moves with TikTok dance moves. So that's cool. Yeah, no, I want to, because <laughs> I want it to be, I want it to be a dance that people feel like, comfortable and able to do, but I still want to make it a little bit more challenging than your typical sure. TikTok dances. So it's, so it's no yeah, no yeah? No yeah, no yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna go around your head. Cool. Around your head and then you're gonna, you can't see my feet. Let me try to move it a little. This one is a little bit of a- Is it a little step glide? I totally just banged into this wall. Cool, okay. Um, and you're gonna drag your right foot. I don't know if you can really see, but there you go, yes. Okay, so you're gonna go, no ya, no ya, around your head, and then drag. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go from the top again. Okay, let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, gotcha, cool. <laughs> Did you do it? Yeah, I think so. Did you guys do it? <laughs> everyone give a round of applause go. for everyone in this chat right now. Is anyone else trying it with us? I hope so. I hope so. I know. There might be a delay. They're probably like, oh, he's really slow. <laughs> <laughs> There's only a little bit more. Okay. Cool. Okay. So after you hear, this, this is another kind of TikTok-y move. Yeah. And you're going to kind of go up your body. Like, I don't know if you can see Boom. my feet, but. Yeah. Me. Yep. Do you know what I'm talking about? You kind of lift your feet like this. Yep. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Do you so bring your arms after up? It says, after it says, um, no, yeah, no, yeah, here, and then grab, and then one, two, three. Oh, you keep the arms down here. Okay. One, two. You kind of move them up a little bit. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. So from the top again, five. Six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, Ooh. and one, two, three, four, and five. Guess what? Yeah. I messed up. Oh, it's we have okay. one more thing before we do this. There's one more thing before we do this. It's okay. We got this. Backtrack. I'm just testing you all to make sure you're all on it and you're all focusing. They're like, what's okay. going on? What's going on? <laughs> So after here, it okay. says, he, he turned to me and he said. So from here, you go, he turned. He turned. To me. To me. And he. And he. He turned to me and he said, oh, he and then he goes. He me and he said. He said, sorry. He turned to me and he said. Oh, he said. Said, then you go into this move. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Hola, hola. So let me retract hola. that again. I'm sorry. No, I'm just testing you. You said you you said you you dance for all those years. You said you you're failing as a dancer. <laughs> you're you're testing me right now. It. It's good. You know? It's good. It's okay. You know? We're doing. Uh, it. Okay, so for the top again. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and. You got that? And here, yeah, right. And one, two, and it's four now. One, two, three, four. Cool. There's only one more count of eight. Cool, let's do it. Can you do it? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so one, two, three, four. You're gonna go over your head. Five, you're gonna do the TikTok clap. The TikTok clap. <laughs> Five, six, seven. It says, um, it all started. So on the started, you're gonna to point to your wrist. So five, six, seven. This is Pitbull going, you better show up on time. 
<laughs> Seven, and then it goes, you're gonna step with your right foot in front. Eight, and then we're almost done. You're gonna roll, roll in. One, two, and then it says, hola, oh, la, la, la. So okay. on that, hola, oh, uh-oh. Am I delayed? What happened here? Oh, it looks like you. Okay. I think we froze. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Are we frozen a little bit? Can anyone see me? Oh, I saw it. Oh, for like one second, I saw you. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I hear you. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I will quickly end this live stream, and then we'll try it again. Is that okay?